Hello, teacher Jackie here. I really want to just get right to what my topic is today, which is three things that we probably will not agree on. No one will agree on, I think. And then a little fourth bonus uh, topic uh, or, or item. So here we go. Three things in the classroom, in this virtual classroom, one-on-one -on -one tutoring platform. Three things I feel that we won't agree on. So number one, I was always searching online for, um, actually I was searching online for teaching adults because I hadn't taught adults online. I taught them in person, <clears throat> but most of them spoke some form of English, not brand new um, English speakers. So I wanted to know some things. Well, in that search, I came across a video about what to never do in class, uh, foreign teach foreign teachers. Well, foreign teachers, but the parents in Asian countries would just never book you again because of these behaviors or things that you do or just, oh, I was, and I was watching them and listening and I was like, I don't agree with you. I do almost all of those <laughs> and I still get booked. I have regulars. I think it just depends on the clientele. And the audience. And with that being said, I'm doing this video as kind of like, not to tell you not to do them, but to tell you also not to just start them if you don't do them already. Or again, this is your classroom. You have to decide what works best. So number one, what I just did, drinking, drinking water. I drink water in my class and I was watching a video that said, no, you can't. <laughs> Well, I think I was teaching class and I was like the same. I go, well, just a minute, you know, and I had to mute. I would cough. I would drink my water and come back. And I think they were fine with that. Well, then, um, or one day I saw a student drinking. They had like a, a mug or some kind of thermos thing, little top on it. Took mine off. And I was like, oh, What's that? And they said, water. They have like a coffee mug with water. I go, you know, well, actually I don't, didn't have stickers on it before, but I was like, you know, teacher Jackie has water too. And I actually do a cheers with my students. So I personally drink water in class or even tea. I have my tea here in my cup. Um, I just do. I don't do it just because I do it because I need to clear my throat. The other thing is if the student is coughing or having problems, I'll pull up my water bottle. If you want to get water, you can have water. And I can tell you about 80% of the time, which when I say it, which I don't do it very often, let's say out of a hundred classes, 20 classes, I'm telling a student, please get some water because they're dry. They're coughing. They can't really read or speak. And when I do it, the parent, next thing I know is like a cup of water comes from the side or, or the student grabs it and drinks it. And I said, oh, did your mom bring you water? Or the mom will come in and go, thank you. You know, because there's this perception that this should be so formal and it should be professional. It should be respected. This platform is paying a lot of money. They're paying a lot of money to do this. But we're also humans, we're people, and we have dry throats, <laughs> and we cough, and we have issues, you know. So, you know, just, just a moment. Okay, I'm ready now, and that kind of thing. So, I had seen a video, do not drink in class. Now, you could be drinking, <laughs> but drinking water, I believe, is acceptable, Depends on how you present it. If you're very sloppy with it, that's why I use this straw. Um, <clears throat> this bottle was my favorite. Quick drink and go away. Not sure how that sounded in the microphone, but most of the time I mute. I need to cough again. And we move on. Does that make sense? All right, number one, drinking. That's your choice, whether you do or not in class. Drinking water, how you present it, how you do it. You can do it off camera. You can do it right here with the mute. Encourage your students. So I tell my students too, drinking water, which I have read a lot of various studies and I don't believe everything I read, 
but I would have to agree with drinking water increases um, many things. First and foremost, it hydrates your brain, hydrates your body, keeps you awake. You have students that are yawning in class. I tell a lot of my yawning students to get some water. <laughs> and that water, the hydration, staying hydrated, helps with memory, helps with learning, helps with focus. So I sometimes say that, depends on my student, especially if they're a regular, they know teacher Jackie's going to have her water bottle. And if they do too, we do a cheers and make class fun. And we stay focused on our objectives, which is improving English. Number two, eating in class. Let's see. Over here, I have a snack. I have celery. Celery. I used to hate celery, by the way. I have peanut butter, which is not the best. It should be the almond or nut butter. And then I also have mini chocolate chips. <laughs> so this is my adult version of ants on a log. I would not eat this in class by any means, but I know sometimes I was sleepy and I have like the little chocolate chips. So, you know, we'll talk and <clears throat> I might throw into the side and make sure they don't see it. Hmm. And kind of like let it melt in my mouth. You can itch your nose and maybe chew, but you're muting. Otherwise, I would not straight up eat chips in class. I would have to agree with the teacher I saw from another platform encouraging do not eat in class. And I know VIP Kid has come out with several notices to stop eating in class. And I was like, who is eating in class? Like, what are you eating? Hamburger? I mean, like a plate? I don't know. <laughs> I would have to agree with not doing that in class. And if you have to, unless I have off and on had a bowl of nuts, cashews or almonds, and I'll put it up and it'll be part of the discussion. And I go, I'll eat it because we're right there. And it's part of the class. It's not like we're talking about cars and or hairstyles or whatever the class topic is. And I'm just chowing on something. <laughs> Number three, posture. Right now I'm leaning in like a um, Larry King kind of lean in. I know this one video. Again, loved her videos. She's from another platform. I had never heard of it, by the way. I've been doing this for years and I've been researching a lot of them, <laughs> but I only came across her maybe about <clears throat> four or five months ago. This is 2023. And she had been teaching with them for years, a different Asian, Asian country. But she said, do not do this. Like, do not lean in. And do not sit back, you know, and do not put your hand in your face. That was a no for whatever culture you must sit up straight and tall and be like this the whole entire time. I would have to say I kind of agree, but I also think, you know, doing this sometimes works because you, you have a student that is scared and a student who is not familiar with a foreigner talking online talking in video format and you may need to like you know hi you know you may have to have a teddy bear you know again it depends on the age maturity and demeanor of your student now I don't ever do this really um there's a few times I've had to itch you know I try to make, make it not look so um horrible like like I got lice or something but I just I do fidget personally as you can tell <laughs> I think I fidget her but I make sure it's purposeful, purposeful like this one to make sure my collar isn't showing all my skin. And then this hair, I always make sure it looks nice and presentable um, in this position. So again, three things that you will have to decide what you will or won't do in your classroom. And you, um, <laughs> if you know, you know. Comment below, what was that alarm for? Um, those who are veterans or those who, yeah, those who know, no. All right, so that being said, those are the three things, eating, no, drinking, eating, and posture. A little bonus thing that we may or may not agree what to do in the classroom is um, while you're waiting, let's say it's time for class to start. The student's not there. It says offline. 
and they're gray and they're not in the classroom. What do you do while you wait? Now, I was shocked. I know someone had asked this in one of the teacher chats. What do you do? And I was really, really, really shocked that it looked like, I'd say at least 50%, which I think is a lot, say so they totally turn off or cover their camera. Um, that was always a no-no. And back in the VIP kid days, I know we used to have a, we didn't have the ability to like, as soon as we got in the classroom, our camera was on. Even if we came in a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes before class, the camera was on. It was live in the classroom before class. So we did have to have like a, like a thing to cover the camera. Um, some people did this whole toilet paper roll, cut it in half, slide it over the camera. Some people did many cams. Some people did all these tips and tricks, but now in VIP kid, <clears throat> not sure about the other platforms, we can turn on and off our camera in the platform software. And so a lot of people say they straight up turn off the camera. I guess I'm just stuck to those old school rules of never doing that and that being a no-no. So I never turn off my camera. I do mute. So if we're a minute, actually even 30 seconds into the class and the student's not there, I just mute my uh, microphone 100%. So if I mute it, they can still see me. And I think that's important in case they pop in really, really quick. I think if they popped in and they saw the camera off, they're going to think you're gone. And I cannot afford, literally, a teacher no-show or a teacher IT. Horrible acronym, by the way. So anyway, um, again, this is a bonus a little while, while you wait for a student to show up. What do you do? And again, I know a lot of us will not agree on it. So uh, personally, I do not participate in the turning my camera off or covering it up and then I do mute though and uh, you know just had a student no show actually 25 minutes of sitting there so I actually had um, a web browser up and I was like this I was <clears throat> reading it and I had in the lower corner that's why I'm over here and I figured if the student pops in hi I'm ready to go the older school me <laughs> I used to be like this the whole time. Like just smiley, I mean, really, really ready <clears throat> when they came in the room. So hopefully, somehow, some way, this helps you with some tips and tricks of like, oh, I never thought about drinking water in the classroom or I never thought my excessive coffee drinking in the classroom might not be good. Or that's maybe that's why Timmy didn't book me again or <clears throat> whatever, or eating or posture. You know, if you're like, yeah, read, read the slide. Go ahead, read. <laughs> you know, there's a time to do what you do and you will get the culture of your classroom and do you, by the way, I, I have another video about this. Be bold, be you. Um, you are an independent teacher. You get booked or not get booked. This is also kind of a, I wouldn't say competition per se, but it is. Um, you know, you and me, I want to get booked. You want to get booked. Which teacher are they going to pick and why? But I think it's important as a community that we do share what we do, how we do it. Uh, we still, at the end of the day, need to make our own decisions. So hopefully this was encouraging to someone somehow. Comment below. Comment what that alarm meant, what you think it is. Sorry for that interruption. That was horrible. But I've learned to not to edit these videos and make them so perfect. I used to do 10,000 retakes. I used to edit. And just um, what's important is just reaching out and letting you guys know where I am and how um, how I think or how, uh, I don't know, just share. Sharing is, is important to me. And simplifying. Ugh. We need to keep this simple. Life is way too complicated, right? Especially uh, in 2023. Keep it simple. Keep it good. We're a community. All right. Until next time, happy teaching. And thank you again for liking, subscribing.